But I'm Barry McAllister. I wanted to step out here just a moment just before the show starts. Uh, it's been kind of our dream for a long time to bring together this kind of a show over here. With, we're going to have a place to do improv and sketch comedy here. And we're very grateful to Belmont to, to have this chance to, to do all this. And our show, The Happy Biscuit, you can see the theme is Laugh, Love, Hope. And our idea was to bring people together who would be laughing and that in the laughter we could find love. And then if you have love, you could find hope. So that's what we're trying to do here. Small town ways. What does that really mean, anyway? Uh, in case you didn't hear, I'm I'm Herschel Moffat. I wanted to welcome you here. Good to see you. Yeah, the small town ways. That usually means holding on to morals and values. Yeah, that's that's kind of associated with small towns because they do a better job of it even though they have their share of difficulties too, don't they? But this is my town, Sycamore Creek. Yeah, I'm quite proud of it and proud of the Happy Biscuit too. It's a great place to go to fill up on biscuits or fill up on uh, information, you know what I mean? But in Sycamore Creek, we, we take care of each other. We look after each other, whether you want them to or not. But that's the way it works when you care about people. Because you see, we're a community. And we're accountable to one another. And that's what makes life great. We watch out for each other. We know what we got to do. We know people are looking because they love us. Anyway, just wanted to let you know that Sycamore Creek's open arms to you. And we hope that you get to meet some of our folks here today. And maybe get a taste of what it's like to be in Sycamore Creek. So welcome to our little town. Called complaint department. And in order to play complaint department, I have bought something. Oh yeah, sorry. I just wanted to get up, come out here and get to know everybody, you know? Uh, so Molly has bought something. I just want to do this part from right here in the crowd. Uh, Molly has bought something, but the whole point of this game is Molly does not know what she purchased. So we're gonna say goodbye to Molly. It's gonna be hard for you to get out. I tested all the exits, so. <laughs> Are you all right? Everybody wave goodbye to no. Molly. Hold on, but first, but first let's watch and see if she can escape the maze of people. I already had a lot of trouble getting out. There. It's like a rat in the maze. There we go. Come on. Outside. Yeah, I'm on. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Make sure the door is closed. All right. So this is a game where Molly's gonna have to figure out what she bought. Uh, so first, we're gonna need an item that you might find in a cafe. Just call it out to me. Coffee. coffee mug. Coffee mug is what I heard. Uh, but this is a coffee mug that's made of um, so, something that a coffee mug wouldn't normally be made out of. Something crazy. Get, let's get crazy. What was, what was this over here? Pickles. Pickles. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is a coffee mug that is made of pickles. Now, um, Molly, uh, as talented and wonderful as she is, she um, is not like magic. She can't read minds or like guess just immediately. So we're going to have to help her get there. So when she makes a guess and she's nowhere near it, I want you to go give her a little cough. Just like <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if she starts to get a little bit closer, nice polite little golf clap. And when she gets it right, this is very hard, so I want you guys to explode. Just cheer and shout, woo, yeah! On the count of three, say hey, welcome back, Molly. One, two, three, welcome back, Molly! Oh, hello there, miss, sorry, it's a busy day over here. My um, goodness, your store is crowded! What can I say, we've got a lot of popular items. <laughs> well. This one was a little unpopular with me. Oh, no, that's so horrible to hear. I'm sorry. I was so just trying to heat up a little food, and instead I bought this, so... Yes, this wouldn't help you heat up a lot of food. Not no. at all. You know, I'm honestly surprised you made it in here without somebody sticking you up on the street and trying to take it from you. You know, like brandishing a weapon and trying to steal your things on the street. Right, right. Well, I keep them in this grand wallet. No, no. Well, but, uh, I don't know how you would fit this in a wallet. I, that might be your right. first problem, honestly. Right, you know? right. Uh, maybe 
I understand a lot of people can't handle the kind of thing that we have that this product is. Yes, right? of course. An axe is a very useful thing. Ugh. But instead, this is I'd, a hot item. I'd rather have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Miss, uh, maybe, maybe something, there's something else that you uh, could explore with this item, all right? Right, right. Yeah, Mr. Folger, here's your work schedule for next week. Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate it, Ernest. Thank uh, you. Yeah, sure, sure. The best part of waking up is getting a schedule like that. Yes, yes. So, a coffee maker mm -hmm. was what I wanted. Yeah. The coffee itself would have also been good. And clearly I didn't get that. <laughs> Look, miss, if you could just hold on for a second. I'm just... holding. All right. Holding. We can figure out how you're holding and you and want your coffee, I, right? And I want a new phone. You, you want a new phone? <laughs> I can't provide the phone. You can't return this for a phone. It's much less sure. expensive than a it's phone. It's not a weapon. No. It's not a phone. No. And it doesn't make coffee. Doesn't make coffee, no. It is, and it's not coffee itself either. Mm -mm. <laughs> but hold on for a second. Okay. Maybe I can uh, hold on with the coffee thoughts. Hold the okay. coffee. <gasps> I understand your trouble, but maybe you should try to contain yourself. Ah, uh, well, I almost got mugged outside. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, I understand. Yes, the coffee mug might be no good, but it's not just a ceramic coffee mug. Well, that's mug. why it's no good. All right, this is a kosher product, all right? Sure, sure. It's a big deal. All right. <laughs> so we made a coffee mug out of pickles. are wonderful and they're also unique like they're everybody knows everybody and there are certain things about small towns everybody is used to like there's a small towns are known for certain recipes or certain things about a small town what is some of your uh, favorite memories of a small town either growing up parade, parade okay so what we're gonna do is an improv game and what we're gonna bring up is the town council and I'm me being their elected official mayor I'm going to bring forth to the community our issue that has come up to my attention is about the parade. It's coming up, folks, and I know that some of you are for the parade, and some of you are not necessarily for the parade or against the parade. So, against the parade. I just want to announce right now, I'm against it. Okay, well, let's start an open dialogue, sir. Can you tell me why you're against the parade? Hello, hello. Me and my family are humble cockroach farmers. <laughs> All right, and we do not like parade. It kills our cockroaches, gets roaches dead. It says it right there on the can, no parade oh, here, no not parade. in our oh, town. I understand. Yeah, and I understand it's a light parade, so you guys scatter anyway. Yes. So, yes, uh, sir. Yes, hello there. Uh, my name is Tom Macy, and I brought my family with me. We're for the parade. We like parading around. I mean, look at the way we're dressed. We're ready for that. a parade any time we can get it. Where's your hat, John? Where's your hat? So where's, oh, there's your hat. Right. Mr. Macy, we are, we're hearing the, every side of the story. Okay. Uh, well, there's, yes, there's only yes, one side. Uh, yes, uh, I'm Mrs. Mrs. Strudelbaker. I'm against the parade because I have many pear pies to make. And should they raid all the pears, what will I make my pies from? I, I don't know. I don't know. So, that is perplexing. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, it would bring people together if we get out of our house and get out and walk down the street together. I mean, it could blow up balloons and things. I mean, I've got a balloon that looks like this fella here that looks, you know, Smart just choice, imagine sir. this going down I, the street. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure some of the dogs will bark and the kids position. will run, but it's well, very nice. Some will, Excuse me. Some will laugh, some will cry, some but it's will. all in the parade. It's all about the parade. That's it. Don't rain on it. 
Yes. After conferring with my cockroach farming family, yes. my humble cockroach farmers and I have decided we may be for the parade if we could have cockroach balloons. Mm. We've got to idolize them. That's Makes true. them feel good, gives them big self-esteem. Exactly, and oh, we're yeah. here to bring the community together. So I've got I'd a like... model over here that could be the cockroach balloon. <laughs> He's done all the cockroach modeling and all the raid commercials. Do exactly. that thing you do. do that ah, thing. see, look at that. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. That's just like old Skippy. Imagine that flying over your city. I think we can stop out this issue right now. Let's take a vote. All the people with applause that are against the parade. Okay. I'm sorry, your pies are still delicious, though. <laughs> And everybody who is for the parade. <laughs> the parade will go on. Yes. When the cockroaches go marching in. Oh, it now we have for you another exciting improv game. This one called Typewriter. Can I get from you the name of a story that has never been told before? <laughs> Once upon a time, there wasn't. What was that? Once upon a time, there wasn't. Nice. All right, trying to create a novel here. It was a dark and dreary night. Oh, wait, wait, that's been done before. Uh, never mind, let's see. Once upon a time on a happy dell with a happy place with happy people. <laughs> no, that makes me sick. All right, I'm gonna be in a different mode here. Once upon a time that wasn't. Or something like that. There was a small town that had a small person living on the outskirts. I can see all the townspeople from here, but they can't see me. It seems that he was looking for a way to take over the town and make it his own. <laughs> I will conquer this little villa, and I will make them work for me. <laughs> One day, there happened a maiden across the lawn looking for daffodils to pick and to make now nah, that's silly let's see there was a maiden who was stomping through the meadows because she was angry at the town <laughs> don't men don't step on me hill giant woman <laughs> why it... should i not you men living on the outskirts of town I'm sorry, I don't know what they've done to you, but if it makes you feel better, I've been excluded too because of my size. Slightly, slightly better. That's not nice to make puns about my height. Oh. <laughs> um, I, it was then that they found a friendship, a bond that would last for decades to come. Or so they thought. For little did they know that also in the outskirts of town, an industrialist had bought a parcel of land that he intended to develop for his own benefit. <laughs> for you see, he was manufacturing electric automobiles. They're going to be the newest thing. Plug, plug him in one corner and go to the next corner and plug him in again. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's change that. The industrialist was manufacturing something else. Pretzels on a stick. Uh, change that. He was doing something different. What, what was the industrialist doing? Somebody call it out. What was Plastic that? Plastic Sanka. <laughs> it's coffee that stays with you forever. <laughs> and it was quite popular because nobody remembered what Sanka was anyway. <laughs> but the small person had something different to say about it. Excuse me, sir. Me and my hill giant friend here 
We're gonna conquer the small town through means of, you know, regular good coffee. No. But now you're providing this plastic bag. Sanka. Yes. It's better than any other coffee that made out of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Later, after they had been drinking crappy coffee, <laughs> all right, we give up. You can have, you can have the town. We'll just take our friendship and move back somewhere else. But wait, we can all live together. Why, <laughs> I've known plastic coffee to go with everything. Well, rent has been cement made brownies. High. That Just day, the industrialist's heart grew ten times its size. <laughs> that won't be. Somebody call an ambulance! Oh, oh my! Oh, 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 <laughs> and they built a memorial to mark where the spot where he died that day. And the moral of the story, from the little person's standpoint, was... Too much crappy coffee will make your heart explode. <laughs> the end. Go to a shoot the phone with you know, flopping around, you got to shoot the phone, you might as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe we should start with some stretching. Oh, stretch. More like this kind of stretching. Ah. Oh, they come from the morning. <laughs> That's okay. I can't go down any further either. No. What they see the phone, we got to shout it on them, people that like me and stuff. You know what I'm feeling? Yeah. yeah. Maybe some classical ballet, maybe right. some jumps. One of my one of my biscuits. <laughs> Maybe something easier. Maybe a bit of jazz. Oh, it's got some of the jazz. I like yeah, that stuff. Like yeah, jazz wear. I'll bust it. Since he ate me. <laughs> he ate me. He ate me whole. And that's why. Started I'm... at the toes, went up to the nose. That's I still all... haven't recovered. That's ultimately why I'm leaving. You've just never been the same. And that was last year. Year. Yeah, I need more time to recover. A year is all you get, William. But Samantha. What about the time when we went for a walk? <laughs> Wasn't that a good date that we went on? We went on a walk around the block. It was so cheap and so nice. Are you? I don't have any money because we spent it all on a cruise. And you went out with Billy. <laughs> Are you forgetting that on that walk we saw a skunk? Skunk? <laughs> it was beautiful and majestic. <laughs> it's and spray us both. 
Well, speaking of smelling awful, you know what you have that smells awful? Ooh, Your shoes. <laughs> you need to wear socks, Samantha. How dare I don't you. care if that's what's in fashion now. Well, you know what stinks about you, William? Your shoes. Ha! <laughs> is fair play, I suppose, Samantha. But you know what? I'm ready to move on. Okay, I'm ready to move on. I've already moved on. I've got one last thing to say to you, though, before All I right. move on. And that's... I'm dating your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I don't even like him that much. I'm just dating him to hurt your feelings. That's progressive and mean-spirited. <laughs> going to um, buy you new shoes. <laughs> buy you new shoes. Samantha, you know that gift giving is my love language. <laughs> I do. It's the last ploy to win you back. Samantha, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry for all the hurtful things I said and the oh. fact that I'm still not okay after being eaten whole by the man you took on a cruise with my money. Oh, will you? But there's to make, more. To make it up to you, I, I want to say one nice thing to you to just, because I know that words of affirmation are your love language. love language. Yes, uh, so I'm, I just wanted to say, you've always been really tall. <laughs> You're so tall. <laughs> rotating box in front of you. When someone yells, rotate, it will rotate one to the right. Rotate back. There are four separate scenes, one for each side of the box. For this scene, could I get, as an inspiration, something that makes you really happy? Cats. Cats! Rotate. For this scene, can I get a suggestion of a gift you might give to your neighbor? A unicorn. unicorn. All right, what's an occupation that you think would uh, be in a small town? Garbage man. Garbage man. Garbage man. What is a secret you've been longing to tell? <laughs> <laughs> no one will know it's from you. A friend's secret. What's a friend's secret? What's Give us your... the juicy guy. Yeah, anything. I. Pregnant. She's pregnant. Thank Whoa. you. She She's is pregnant. pregnant. Rotate and recap. Cats. Unicorn. Garbage, Garbage man. She's, She's pregnant. pregnant. Oh, Clarence. The biscuits today. The biscuits today. That's right, Minerva. The biscuits. Lots of biscuits for my favorite kitty. Mm, thank you, Clarence. You're my favorite kitty, too. <laughs> that makes me happy. Me being happy makes me make more biscuits. Mm, okay. biscuits. <laughs> Neil, it's true. I, uh, I am a unicorn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a saw. Uh, no, 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 wait, now, now, no, wait, now, wait, I, I've got to make a point here. Uh, you do got a pretty uh, nice point. <laughs> wait, there aren't many of us left. If you take me out, you won't have any more magic. I mean, I can, mm. like, grant you a wish. I'm not going to take you out. I'm just going to take out a small no, heart. No, I'm Grant's not going to. Wait, 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 wait. Before, before you leave, I just wanted to add this. It means a lot to me, but it's kind of old. Oh, yeah, so you want to add it to the landfill? It meant something to you, right? It meant a whole lot to me. Uh, cool, this is great. <laughs> you don't... Oh, wait, is, is this going to cause problems between us? No, I, I see you every Tuesday. Yeah, I know. I, uh, I mean, I want to show up wearing your favorite hat and have it bring back all these weird memories and no, stuff. No, we can... Maybe we'll start new memories. I mean, it's tough enough being a garbage man without having strange things like that be between us. <laughs> look, look, it's... It's just something, okay, I wanted to give it to you because I know it's hot and you're balding. 
I think you might need it. Uh -oh. Call me judgmental. Call me... I, I, it's just awkward, so I'm going to give you something, too. This oh, is a... But that, that's what I had before. And... Yeah, I know. It's, it's your sandwich you had for lunch. I'm giving it back. Rotate! <laughs> yeah, Monica. So this is from the alien abduction, right? Apparently, apparently, when I woke up, it was like I started feeling a little nauseous and irritated with you. <laughs> you think you don't, don't agree? touch me. <laughs> but it, oh my it's gosh. kicking, I see a little I know foot. it's kicking. Oh. You're good. Oh. <laughs> Rotate. <laughs> Clarence. I've got the nip. <laughs> Clarence. Hey, let me play with the special ball. All right. Fine, I'll leave you. I'll leave the horn. Uh, okay. I get a little bit of the hoof. Oh, man, you just, you, you just want, 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 want. I, yeah, yeah. Wait, okay. What do you got you're going to give me for part of my hoof? Hoof. Oh, I didn't expect it to be a trade. All I, I've got the saw, so I kind of make the hoof. Uh, uh, no, you know, well, well I, it's only fair. i got to get something in exchange here. Think right? of it as like a pedicure. Come on! You want what I got, you ain't getting it unless you got something to trade. What do you got? You got like cash? You got some some kind of an exotic scat to give me? <laughs> Rotate! I'm here to help, Charlie. I'm the guy that lives two blocks down. I've been following you every Tuesday. We can start doing stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, you know about that. Uh, I mean, I'm part of a union, you know? We can't associate with just hey, anybody. Hey, 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 I'll respect your rules, your boundaries. What you about know, the Johnsons? Do they only eat microwave, microwave uh, meals? It's, yeah. What's we, all about? All right, okay, here's the way it is. I don't want to hurt you. No. But you like, you smell too good, okay? I'm a garbage <laughs> man. You, 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 you dress too good. I mean, look at me. Come on, oh, you're, okay. you're desperate. It's got your eyes and Greg Thorpe's antennas. Oh, my God. <laughs> and teleportation! Yeah. Took right to it. Wow. <laughs> you know, I knew that mole on your neck would do some good one day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.